Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. So it's week whatever on lockdown. I've been spending my daily exercise wandering around my village um, and I've taken quite a few sort of uh, public footpaths into areas that I didn't even know existed. So that's one good thing about lockdown is we're actually getting to explore a little. I wanted to bother you quickly to talk about a plant that I think is absolutely incredible, but most people really consider it a weed. OK, um, and that's plantain. So this one is Plantago lancelota or ribwort. And it's quite easily distinguishable by the high veins on the back. Yeah, this is a very, very large specimen. They come in different sizes. This one's a little bit smaller. They've gone a little bit limp since I've picked them in the uh, on my daily walk. And then we have greater plantain. Now this is more of an oval shape rather than um, sort of a, a spear shape. This one, again is quite a large specimen. And again, we have those big ridges on the back. They do vary in size. There's a much, much smaller one for you. So, Plantain has an amazing history. During the Anglo-Saxon times, it was one of the nine sacred healing herbs. Okay? In America, it's known as white man's footprint by the Native Americans. Um, settlers that went over there, the white man, went over there and we would spread seeds wherever we went. It was so important to the, uh, to the settlers. The Native Americans, the Indians, actually used it to track our movements going from settlement to settlement. Um, it was that important that everybody would have a pocket full of seeds and we would spread it wherever we went. OK, Shakespeare mentions it, uh, I think, in one of his plays as well. So um, so it's, it's notable all the way through history. Why we spread it is due to its first aid properties as well as being edible. So its first aid properties are, are, are incredible. If you have a cut or a graze, um, a sting, an ulcer. Um, if you get a nettle rash, you can simply make a poultice out of it by crushing it up, getting it nice and juicy and placing it on the wound. It'll actually help heal that wound within five, ten minutes. Um, there was some research of it being better than dock leaves for nettle rash. So don't worry about a dock leaves. Get yourself a ribwort. It's just better than the greater because they're juicier. Um, so a long spear shaped one. Crunch it up as much as you can with your hands. Some people even crunch it up in their mouth and then place it onto the wound afterwards. It doesn't taste particularly great, I must admit, especially the larger ones. They're quite bitter. Um, and within 10 minutes, it will help heal that, especially, as I said, the, uh, the nettle rash. Five to 10 minutes and that rash will settle right down. It's good for uh, mouth ulcers. You can crunch it up behind your uh, behind the ulcer and place it there. Um, you can make it into a tea. Um, so simply steep it for five, ten minutes in some hot water. Um, add, add a little bit of honey. There's research to say that it's it's good for the lungs. So um, there's research into it helping bronchitis, uh, it helping hay fever and digestive irritation. It's meant to help that as well. Um, it truly is an amazing plant. There are some healers I know that use it uh, as a compress against a wound to take out uh, inflammation. So its first aid properties are incredible. As I said, it is also edible. Uh, so the younger leaves, the smaller leaves, um, you can cut them up and add them to a salad. But as they get larger, they become tougher and bit more bitter. So they're probably not worth it. The seeds in the summer, you can grind them down and turn them into flour. Uh, or a flour substitute so you can add it to normal flour to bulk that flour out so it truly is an amazing plant and these are things that as normal man and man and woman we actually dig it up in our gardens and we throw it away um, so when you're out on your walks when you're wandering around look at plants try and identify them bring them home take a photo of them see if your friends know what they are research them and you may find that it has a fantastic varied history or some incredible uses. Take dandelion, for instance. Every part of the dandelion is useful, okay? Um, garlic mustard or jack by the hedge has some brilliant healing properties as well. Um, so yeah, explore, enjoy, stay safe, and I shall see you all once all this madness is over. Stay safe, guys. Bye.